Hey guys, this is Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. We're here at the Cannes Yacht Festival. Today we're at the Beneteau booth on board the Oceanus Yacht 62. They call this thing the Oceanus Yacht because this thing is truly a cruising machine. We're going to kick things off on the swim platform of the Oceana 62. What you'll notice is the entire platform lowers down with these high-end hydraulic arms. Underfoot, we have a swim ladder with rollers that flip up. We are easily able to lower the platform 15 degrees and slide a dinghy in and out of the garage. From here, let's head up to the cockpit and take a look around. In the cockpit at the helm, there are some features that stand out to you right away, including high-end carbon fiber wheels. Additionally, we have dual navigation stations with full BNG multifunction displays. Everything that you need to sail the boat is right here. We've got power winches, an electric furling jib, and everything as far as autopilot. For the aft seating, there are some key features. Either side folds up. On this model, we have a lot of storage. However, there is also an option for an electric grill that will lift up in this section. Just inboard of the wheel, you'll find convenient storage locations, including cold storage on the port side, and gas storage on the starboard side. Another really awesome feature about this cockpit is the fold-out table. Here we have leaves that fold out. Each side hydraulically lowers, so either side can be made into a sun pad. They can conveniently be put together into one table. When the table is in the down position, it makes for a large sun pad. These are coupled with another pair of sun pads forward. From here, let's head midship and check out the sail configuration. A great thing about this boat is the power winches and power furling for everything. You have two large cushions on the bow with speakers that are tied to a fusion stereo. Forward on the bow, you'll see three hatches. Note that these are deck level, so there's no tripping hazards. The two rear hatches are actually the sunlight and escape hatches for the master cabin. Forward of that, you'll find a hatch down to the crew quarters. This can double as storage for sails, but in this configuration, we have a full head, vanity, and bed. At the bow, first off, you'll notice this high-end furler for the jib. Underneath that, we've got power windlass. There's a beautiful stainless steel anchor and attachment point for a Code Zero sail or spinnaker. From here, we're going to step inside and check out the interior salon. Overhead, you'll notice we have plenty of light coming into the cabin. This is a combination of skylights, emergency hatches, and ventilation hatches. On the starboard aft, there's a full queen-size berth. This cabin has its own ensuite head with enclosed shower. Heading over to the port aft cabin, you'll see another queen-size berth with plenty of lighting, including LED lights and a reading light in addition to the windows. Port side, you'll find the day head, which can be accessed from either the main salon or from this cabin. Note the easy access to the mechanical room featuring the generator and then also a stern thruster. Lifting up the stairs, you'll see a large Yanmar diesel engine. Down in the main salon, the first feature you will notice is the L-shaped settee. The table easily folds out and could go high-low as a coffee table. Behind the centerline settee, there is a convenient TV that will pop up for movie night. To the port side, you'll find a navigation desk. There is an electronic station, including a large BNG display. 
Additionally, all the circuit breakers and electronics are accessible from this location. The desk has convenient storage where you can keep all your maps and other navigational tools. On the starboard side, you'll find a full galley. There's a convenient stovetop, oven, sink, and dishwasher, all in hidden compartments. This is great because it gives you full access for your prep surfaces and hides away all your appliances. Under the counter, we have a large galley storage area. Just to the right of that, you'll find a convenient wine cooler. Underfoot, there are various mechanical areas, including an air conditioner section and a fresh water section. This includes the fresh water manifold for the entire boat. On the starboard side, there's a full-size refrigerator and top-loading freezer drawers. Up front, you'll find the master cabin. A few things that stand out right away is the immense amount of light. This comes from large windows in the hull, as well as the skylights overhead that function as emergency escape hatches. In addition to plenty of hanging locker storage, on the bulkhead, you'll find an additional storage area. This can be custom specified at the factory. On suite, we have a large master head, including a fully enclosed shower. On behalf of myself, Tony Smith, and the rest of the team at Denison Yachting, we'd like to thank you for taking the time to look at this Oceanus Yacht 62. If you'd like to see any of the Beneteau product, power or sail, please find us at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show.